So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my topic is Uttra murder case, a limelight to homicidal snake pie. So talking about homicidal snake pie, it is new to everyone, or it will be new to the field of forensic science. And homicidal snake bite is um, like it's um, using a natural weapon like a snake to commit a murder or to harm a person. According to World Health Organization, snake bites are one of the most neglected topic uh, or topical medical condition. Uh, they are basically uh, for families of snake, elip day, wipe day, pit wiper, and hydrophilia. So although there are certain cases um, in which snake has been used to cover up uh, the homicide or the murder, but uh, the case of Uttra murder case uh, came into light by uh, the scientific investigation and the proper investigation. Uh, it came into light how a natural weapon like snake is used to commit a crime. So um, going for the details of the case, uh, Uttra was uh, married to Suraj, that is a victim. Um, um, on March 2nd of 2020, there was a first attempt by Suraj to murder Uttra by using a razor wiper. So earlier there was also um, um, certain acts by him uh, to uh, murder his wife uh, because um, he knew uh, she, uh, the Uttra was differently able and he uh, want to eliminate um, his wife uh, for the monetary gains. So on the March of 2nd, 2020, um, by using a wrestle wiper, um, he uh, planned a murder. So uh, that um, planning was failed and uh, the actually the snake was a snake bite her and she was um, at um, treatment for about 52 days. And after 52 days, um, he planned a second idea, like uh, to uh, bite her using a cobra. And at that incident, uh, the snake bite her and she was uh, died. So um, by uh, the, um, at earlier or at initial point, there was not any clue that he has done this or there was no suspicion about the husband. So um, later on, uh, the victim's father, uh, they had certain doubts regarding him and they filed a complaint against him to the police investigator. So they started to investigate. So there was only certain circumstantial evidences available over there. And uh, this circumstantial evidence, uh, there were about 29 circumstantial evidence and the police investigator, they could prove about almost 27 circumstantial evidence. So there was not a direct witness. Um, and uh, what was uh, odd and unnatural is like, there was two successive snake bite. Um, earlier, they thought that it was a um, serpentine curse. And later on, by um, using scientific aids and proper investigative method, they kind of came to the conclusion, like he has done, and he has planned and done this crime. So the circumstantial evidence was victim suffered snake bite twice. So um, her first by using a wrestle wiper and second by using the cobra. So um, talking about this uh, wrestle wiper, it is like a snake, which is basically seen in the agriculture field or land, and it could not climb much. So the first instant which occurred or the first attempt to murder occurred at uh, the um, husband's house. And uh, she was on the first floor and uh, talking about the wrestle wiper, it could not climb up without any aid. So uh, the police uh, started to investigate from this suspicion. And later on also, um, uh, they, uh, uh, from the second instance, uh, they, can, they could prove that um, uh, the cobra of that kind of species, um, they can only lift up to about one third of its total, center, uh, total length. Uh, like the cobra which bite Uttra was about 150 centimeter and it could only lift up to um, about maximum up to 50 centimeter. So uh, from these conclusions, and also uh, they could examine the crime scene properly and thoroughly. And there were only um, three ventilation and two windows and a door. And from these proper examination from the crime scene, they could conclude that uh, without any aid, the snake can be inside the house or near to the victim. So this is the one circumstantial evidence. And uh, later on, uh, the autopsy of this um, victim was done. So from the autopsy report, they could um, conclude, or from that report, they could uh, see that there was a successive snake bite, first one. And the second point is like, um, 
the fan's width of these uh, byte it uh, in the range of 2.3 and 2.8 so uh, this was the earlier autopsy report and also they had uh, done the um, autopsy report of the killed snake and uh, the dna analysis of the snake was also done uh, then the dna was matched uh, with the container uh, in which the snake was kept and from that the dna was matched and also um, talking about um, this snake's autopsy the snake's bowel was empty um, and there was also certain scientific studies or scientific um, studies are done uh, regarding the snakes and from that they could conclude that like um, a snake basically or specifically when we talk talking about cobra the cobra their prey time will be um, or their hunting time will be from 6 pm to 8 pm and after that um, they could um, rest in their house or their habitat only so uh, from the autopsy report of utra um, the doctor conclude that the time of death is around 2 uh, am in the morning and uh, this gives a mismatch uh, to the investigating officers and also um, at first the victim, uh, sorry, at first the husband, Suresh, he attired the same thing like he hadn't done anything, um, that uh, he is an honest uh, stand. And later on, when the police investigators, they uh, given, like they submitted this uh, mobile evidences to him. So from that, um, he changed his um, statement. Uh, from this mobile uh, for history, they could see a particular pattern. At first, there were only the research history of a viper, how its venom acts, and how um, he could handle and all those things. And after the incidents of first um, murdering plan, um, the second, like uh, he researched for the cobra. And from that, these uh, investigators uh, could prove that he has done the crime with a well pre planned idea. And also, he is eminent in handling uh, uh, snakes, and he has brought earlier two the snakes into his house to show how he could handle the snakes and all. So, um, and also um, these uh, investigators come to the point and they have started to reconstruct the crime scene. From the crime scene reconstruction, they could conclude how he has done this crime. While using uh, a, a dummy or a mannequin uh, and a, a live snake, they um, reconstructed the crime scene. So at first, what they had done that without any provocation um, uh, by uh, without any provocation, uh, the snake bite or these fans with they measure and it was about 1.7 centimeter. On successive bite also, the same width was there. And after provocation uh, or after induced bite, uh, they could see um, a, in the, a fans width of 2.4 centimeter. And it came to the conclusion that he has done the crime by using an induced bite. And these, uh, uh, after the proper investigation uh, by using the scientific aid, circumstantial evidence, and the mobile forensic, uh, the court of um, the Column Additional Session Court awarded double life sentence to the um, culprit, Suresh, um, according under Section 302, um, uh, 307, uh, and 328, and 201. Thank you.